Hi, my name's John Arnold, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new product from MacFun Software called SnapHeal. This has just arrived on the Mac App Store. MacFun seem to be making a habit of releasing really cool little photography apps that are very affordable and do one or two jobs really well. And what the product that we're looking at today does is it replaces one of the exciting features in the most recent versions of Photoshop. Uh, and that feature is Content Aware Fill, which is really useful if you want to change the content of a photograph. So we're going to take a look at Snap Heal today and uh, as you can see we're going to start here in Lightroom and that's because I've set Snap Heal up as a uh, an editor that we can reach from Lightroom. So if I go to this photograph here, this was taken during the London photo walk. I was down there a few weeks ago and uh, this gentleman in the photograph is actually uh, the Google representative. I'm sorry I've forgotten your name mate. I hope you don't mind me using this picture of you in the uh, tutorial here. But uh, um, uh, so this is the guy from Google and I'm going to right click on it and choose edit in snap heel. And this is going to say, do I want to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments? Yes, I do. And this is going to open up Snap Heal with that, with that picture in it. So here we are in Snap Heal. We can see we've got our image open in the main window here. We've got uh, a row of buttons across the top, things like fitting to the screen, zooming in, zooming out. We can make 100% actual size. You can see we're working uh, with a full-sized image here. This is taken straight from the RAW. We can fit to the screen and we can use our scroll wheel to zoom in and out just like we can if we set it up that way in Photoshop. Uh, we've got undo and redo buttons. And then on the right hand side here, we've got all the tools that are available in Snap Heal. So we've got uh, the headline feature, which is the erase tool. We've also got a clone stamp brush, just like um, the uh, clone and stamp tool in Photoshop. We've also got retouching options, which allow us to paint edits in to our image, a bit like the uh, uh, adjustment brush in Lightroom, and some adjustment sliders for basic brightness, contrast, exposure, and so on. Uh, we've also got a cropping tool and a rotating tool, so we can do some basic edits to the product. But of course, the main headline feature is this uh, content-aware um, editing here. So uh, let's start by doing what ought to be a relatively straightforward edit. I'm going to take this uh, sticker here off the uh, off this gentleman's shirt. So I'm just going to paint a little area over there. That's now we painted a mask that is going to be the area that we fill. And we can see we've got three eraser modes here. We've got wormhole, shapeshift, and twister. I'm going to start off um, just by using the wormhole feature. And the first thing you're going to notice when you use Snap Heal is that this is not as quick as Photoshop is when it comes to um, these content aware fills. It is definitely slower, but um, you've got a lot more options in terms of how it goes about deciding what to fill with. So you've got three different modes you can choose from, and that will give you three different uh, outcomes. And you'll learn quite quickly w what sort of situations each of those three modes is good for. So I'm just going to talk for a moment so you can see how long this one takes. Remember, we're working with a full-sized RAW file. Um, in future, when I'm doing a couple of these if later on in the tutorial, I won't make you wait like this. I just wanted you to see a real one go through. And you can see we have some amazing facts here as well to read while it's proceeding. Nearly done now. And what the, uh, the wormhole feature that I've chosen does is the area that you selected. So if I hit the undo button, you can see the, the mask that I selected, it will try and take texture from around the edge and suck that into the middle. So as I've, as I've uh, uh, done the erase, you can see it's taken a bit of this edge here and sucked that into the middle and it sucked the edge everywhere else into the middle as well. So we're just left with this, this one little piece that we want to fix. Um, so we can, we can, just like in Photoshop, you sometimes hit it a couple of times and it works nicely. This time let's go for the twister model and hit erase and this will be a lot quicker. So you can see that proceeding very very fast now that's because it's just a little edit and that's given us a pretty convincing looking edit. We could tidy that up a little more if we wanted but uh, um, but I don't see any particular need to on the demo here. Uh, now so that's an easy one we've taken the label off no problem. What about something a bit more difficult like this this is actually a clock. This photograph was taken at uh, um, Canary Wharf in London 
uh, and it's a, an out of focus clock in the background against the uh, the building there so if i just paint this this area in and i'm not being too careful i'm, I'm gonna just uh, uh let it overlap uh this gentleman's shoulder here a little bit let's just zoom in uh, zoom in a little more and i am going to just use the deselect option here to paint away some of the mask there we go just to keep the shape of that shoulder now let's see how this does i'm going to use the twister because i know that's the version that works best here i think what twister does now i haven't got any special knowledge from the guys that wrote this but what i think twister does is it looks for matching texture around and it where you've got a sort of a higgledy piggledy texture it will um take the same sort of shapes and fill the area with those with those shapes in this case we've got a very regular texture let's see what it does i'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to wait And there we go. You can see that's actually done a rather good job. What it's actually done is it's looked at the surrounding area and seen the shapes in the building and it's actually generated for us a couple of windows that just weren't there. It's made them up completely. We've still got the shape of his shoulder there, look, and it looks pretty natural. There's a couple of little little lines in the uh, uh, in the, the, the building there that we can just tidy those up with another little erase tool, but uh, you get the idea. It does a very good job. Um, Let's just do one final edit. I'm just going to take this logo off his hat here. Um, and I'm going to do that uh, with a couple of different tools so you can see more clearly what's going on. We've got, as I say, three edit modes here. We've got the wormhole that sucks the texture in around. We've got the shape shift, which is going to, I think, what this does is look for a larger area of texture nearby that it can replace into that area. And then Twister that I think sort of splits the texture up into more little pieces. So let's have a look at how shape shift does here. And I think you'll agree that's done a pretty, pretty splendid job. It's copied that same ribbed, ribbed texture from the, uh, from the wool hat there. If I just go undo and twister and do the same thing. There, that does a pretty great job as well. Not quite the same as the other one, but also pretty good. And, and I encourage you when you're playing with this to try the different modes and find the one that works best for your particular edit, because uh, um, sometimes it does a great job with one and it doesn't work so well with others. So let's just quick, take a quick look at the comparison between our starting point and our ending point. And I think um, particularly these two objects down here, the sticker and that clock in the background there, it makes a big difference removing those things. And if I spent a little bit longer on this image, I might take off the uh, Sun Sniper there as well and maybe tidy up that, that edit a little at the top. But it's already a much cleaner looking, much more uh, 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 distraction free, reduced and simplified image than the one we started with. These are edits you absolutely cannot do just using the Spot Edit tool in Lightroom. Oh, just before we leave this image, though, I just want to hit the Save button and show you something. Um, if you do set up Snap Heal as a Lightroom editor, something you need to be aware of, uh, Lightroom is going to save your images with a, with a .tif, only one F, and Snap Heal will, by default, save it with .tiff, with two Fs. So if you want to make sure that uh, Lightroom imports it correctly when it goes back, you want to make sure you enter the .tif, and when you hit save, it will say, do you want to overwrite? Yes, you do. And that will cause Lightroom to pick up that change. Um, I have mentioned that to MacFun. I'm sure they will fix that um, in uh, a coming version um, so that it integrates more naturally with Lightroom. But for the moment, that's just a, a quick gotcha to be aware of so that Lightroom picks up that change. And as you can see here, we're back in Lightroom now. That clock is gone. The label on his, um, uh, on his hat is gone and uh, the uh, label on his shirt is gone. So um, a nicely tidied up uh, version of the image there, um, nicely round tripped back into Lightroom. So let's take a look at one more image. So here we've got an image of my nephew James and uh, I brought this one up just to show you because this is this is a, a less challenging situation. I want to just show you what a great job it can do when we've got um, a real image where you might just want to make some small edits and you can see he's just got a little bit of little bubble there and another little bubble there and I just want to take those out and just a little bit on the skin here. He's got a bit of muck around his mouth like children so often do. And just take those little spots off the skin there. 
and this is where you want to use that wormhole and uh, we'll see what a great job it does so if I click erase now and you can see straight away that's done an absolutely flawless job that's a really really impressive change and that's the sort of edit that I think this this product really excels at we've taken the little bubbles out and we've got rid of those um, Oops, and we've got rid of those crumbs that were on his lip there um, that that really is where this product comes into its own so um, you can see the the uh, fill uh, the content aware fill feature works very nicely indeed I will just briefly mention the adjustments as well um, the uh, I particularly like the exposure slider that works really nicely contrast is looking pretty good um, brightness is not bad uh, it sort of brightens and loses contrast but if you can balance that with a bit of contrast I think you're better off with the exposure slider the color temperature slider is currently I would say that's backwards it should go to the right to go warmer and to the left to go colder but that's a that's a niggle um, the shadows and highlights sliders work beautifully um, really great for just bringing back a bit of detail in the shadow areas or knocking back highlights if you want to uh, uh, bring things all more into the same sort of levels and we've also got a sharpen and denoise slider I wouldn't tend to do that sort of thing here in uh, a product like this um, but if you haven't got anything else that can do it um, then certainly this is a good place to come we've also got a crop tool where we can do a free crop or we can choose a proportions if we want so if we want to do a square crop we can do that and we can also do slight rotations or if we've got an image that is completely the wrong way around we can use the 90 degree rotations on the rotate and flip tab here so we've got a few extra features there those are the sorts of things that if you've got something like Lightroom I think you probably tend to do those in Lightroom but if this is all you've got um, then uh, they've got some very uh, uh, useful tools there that will get you an awfully long way towards a finished image so overall I've got to say I am very impressed with Snap Peel um, I think as a first version product it gets just about everything Thing right um, I'm really really pleased with what it does and of course at the price it's absolutely unbeatable this is one of the most exciting new features in Photoshop and of course Photoshop is uh, well over 600 pounds here in the UK this is I think I don't know five pounds ten pounds whatever it I don't care what it is it's a fraction of the price so I could take a whole bunch of these and still not pay anywhere near what Photoshop costs so that to me is the key this is the direction the photo editing software is going you can pick and choose your tools and use the right tool for the job when you need to and spend a lot less money so I really think the uh, the end is nigh for Photoshop as the default unless they can bring the price down a great deal I really think products like this are going to eat Adobe's lunch so uh, well done to Mac fun um, I hope they do really well with this check it out on the Mac App Store I think you're going to find it extremely useful thanks for watching I'll catch you next time Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. <laughs>